Hello everyone and welcome to Code on Fire. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create a counter that increases when collecting objects, in this case coins, and how to uh, display text messages uh, based on game events. We're using uh, a third person project in Real Engine version 5, specifically uh, 5.4, Let's start by moving to the third person blueprint. Inside it, we'll create two variables related uh, to the character's presence. A counter, integer type, to track uh, the collected coins and uh, a boolean variable called text. Next, we'll create a widget and add it to the viewport to make it visible. Back in the content folder, right click, go to user interface and create a widget named counter. Once the widget is ready, we can add it to our viewport. Finally, in the third person character blueprint from the event begin play node, connect it to the create widget function. We'll insert the widget we want to create here. Let's choose the counter, which we just created. To make it visible in the viewport, we'll add another node called Add to Viewport. Connect the return value as the target, compile, save and return to the widget. As always, uh, when creating uh, a new widget, uh, let's add uh, a canvas that provides uh, the proportions of our user interface. Next, we'll add uh, a text element below the canvas. Double click on the text and uh, rename it to counter. In this part, we'll input the text, uh, which will be the number zero, as uh, we'll start counting from zero. Currently, the zero is uh, shifted to the left, so let's uh, adjust the, um, adjust the uh, justification to move it uh, to the right. We'll also increase the font size uh, 48, uh, should work well. Now, let's add another text block to our canvas. This one will simply describe what the counter is measuring. So let's write coin. Again, increase the font size to 48. Position it near our value and uh, adjust the anchor point precisely where our text are located. Compile, save and return to the game scene. When we play, we'll see that our counter is uh, indeed displayed uh, on the screen. So far, so good. Now, let's create everything uh, necessary to increment the counter value. First, we'll create another blueprint for our coin, along with the trigger mechanism to achieve the increment. Later, we also display additional informative text when, when um, collecting the coin. So, going <coughs> here to the blueprint class, Choose an actor class and name is name this blueprint uh, BP underscore coin. Inside this uh, blueprint, uh, we'll use uh, a simple sphere to uh, represent our coins. Let's uh, reduce its size. In addition to the sphere representing uh, our coin, we'll add uh, another component, uh, the box collision, which will be necessary to trigger the event. We need to set up uh, this uh, other type of uh, relationship, which is more convenient in this case. Let's rename this component to coin. As for the box collision, we can leave it as box. Perfect. Compile, save, and now let's implement the function part. With the box collision selected, scroll down to the events section and create a begin overlap event. 
click the plus button and uh, it will be added uh, um, to the event, event graph. Let's connect it uh, directly to our character. Use the cast to node and for the object uh, select, select uh, other actor. The next step uh, is to link the character to the counter variable we previously created uh, in, uh, in the third-person uh, third blueprint. This way uh, we can uh, um, increment the counter value. So, get the counter variable and connect it to the character. Now add the same variable, but this time as a set counter operation, which will give us the increment value. To achieve this, we need to add another operator, the add operator. We want uh, uh, the counter to increase by one unit every time we collect a coin. So let's input the value one. Once the coin has been collected, we want it to be destroyed. To achieve this, add the destroy component node and specify the component to be destroyed as the coin. To ensure that, that uh, our counter actually increments, compile and save your work. In this case, the target will always be the character. Compile again and save. Perfect. Now, let's return to the counter text where we added our display text. We'll set up the binding to connect our text to all the functions we created within the blueprints. Create a binding, keeping everything relative to the character. Connect it using the cast to node, specifying the get player character as the object. Now that with the, with the um, done this, we continue using the previously set counter variable, which will provide us with the value. Get the value and connect it to the return value. This we had a node that converts the integer value to the counter variable into text for display on the screen. As always, remember to compile and save. Adjust the size of our box and reduce the sphere. Compile, save and return to our game scene. Position the blueprint, hold Alt, left click and duplicate it quickly. Let's go into play mode and collect the coins. As we can see, the value will increase. Now, let's take an additional step. Whenever our character collects a coin, we want a text message to display the increment. We each simply plus one. To achieve this, we'll use the text variable we created inside the third person blueprint. First, let's set this boolean variable to um, uh, determine the visibility of our text message. Go back to the widget, navigate to the design section and align the text better. Add another text element, position it 48 uh, as the size and write the increment text plus one. Now adjust the anchor point. In the visibility section, change the default setting from visible to hidden. We'll make it visible when a specific event occurs. Compile, save and return to our blueprint coin. In the event begin overlap, we can set the text variable, select set text from the third person character class. 
check the box to set it as a true in this part when uh, this event, event occurs. Target the character and we've completed the first part to display our increment. Next, let's bind the text to the plus one increment. Rename it uh, as uh, increment. The binding will be relative to visibility. So, move to this section and create a bind. Always refer to our character and cast to the third person character class. To achieve this, connect the get player character node to the object input. Next, create a boolean condition using the branch node. This node allows us to handle different outcomes based on whether a condition is true or false. The condition we use is the text variable. Connect the character to the getText node, which retrieves the value of the text variable. Since we're setting the text variable here in the blueprint coin, let's create a new variable called showText. By right-clicking and selecting Promote to Variable. This variable will serve uh, as uh, our toggle for uh, showing or hiding the text. Set it uh, as a set operation, allowing us to control visibility. In the true branch, set it up uh, uh, so that our text become visible and then reconnect it uh, to the return value. In the false branch, we'll hide the text, compile and save. Now, in the blueprint coin, we'll set the condition from when the text variable is true. We also need to handle the case when the variable becomes false. For this, we'll use the hand overlap event. Return to the viewport, select the box collider and set up the event to hide our message when the overlap ends, meaning when, the, when our character completely exits um, the collider. In this case, our text variable will become false. We still connect to the character using the cast to node Let's create the connection like this and search for the text variable. For the set operation, this time we won't check the box um, because we want to set it as false. After doing this, we can compile, save and return to our game scene. Click play. When we collect the coins, the increment message plus one will appear. However, if we pass through the colliders again, the message should not reappear. To achieve um, this, we need to take one more step. Let's go back to the blueprint coin. We need to destroy the box component so that the text message doesn't show, up, uh, doesn't show up again and the counter stops incrementing once the coin has been collected. Add a destroy component node targeting the box. Compile again, save and return to the scene. Click play, collect the coins and you'll see the increment message. But when we pass through the colliders again, the message won't appear anymore. That's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.